boys and girls, welcome to Virtual Team Jesus Sunday School. I'm Deaconess Kim, ready to meet the amazing Jesus and learn more about our Savior. Today we'll learn about when Jesus was baptized and how we get connected to God through our baptism. Today we'll be using this light bulb to help us remember how to shine bright in the world because we're connected to God. We will learn that in baptism, we are connected to Jesus. This week's story comes from Luke chapter 3 and also John chapter 1. John lived in the wilderness. His clothes were made of camel hair, and he had a leather belt around his waist. He ate locusts and wild honey. John preached on either side of the Jordan River, saying, Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is near. John was the person that the prophet Isaiah had talked about 600 years earlier, a voice of crying out in the wilderness to prepare the way for the Lord. People from all around went into the wilderness to hear John preach. Many confessed their sins and were baptized by John in the Jordan River. Priests and Levites were sent to question John. John told him he was preparing the way for someone else who lived among them, and he was not worthy to even untie the straps of that person's sandals. John told them that he baptized with water. But the one coming after him would baptize with the Holy Spirit and with fire. John warned the Pharisees and the Sadducees that they must practice what they preached. If you have two coats, John said, give one to the poor. If you have extra food, give it away to those who are hungry. Soldiers wanting to repent were told not to cheat people out of money or accuse people falsely. Tax collectors were warned not to collect more money than they should. One day, Jesus went from Galilee to the Jordan River to be baptized by John. When John saw Jesus, he didn't want to baptize him. This isn't proper, he said. I am the one who needs to be baptized by you. But Jesus insisted, Please do it, for I must do all that is right. So John baptized Jesus. As soon as Jesus came up out of the water, the heavens were opened, and he saw the Spirit of God coming down in the form of a dove. A voice from heaven said, This is my beloved Son, and I am wonderfully pleased with him. John told the people, When God sent me to baptize, he told me, When you see the Holy Spirit descending and resting upon someone, he is the one you are looking for. He is the one who baptizes with the Holy Spirit. I saw it happen to Jesus, and I testify that he is the Son of God. The next day, as John was standing with two of his disciples, Jesus walked by. John looked at him intently and then declared, Look, there is the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. John spent his life pointing to Jesus and telling other people to follow him. Hey kids, today I have an electric light bulb. Now this light bulb reminds me of Jesus. Do you know why? Let's put it in this lamp and see what happens. Jesus came as the light of the world, just like the light bulb gives light to our houses. Now, when John the baptizer came, he was more like this flashlight. He wasn't like the light, but he pointed to the light. Do you know who that true light is again? It's Jesus. One day, Jesus came to where John was telling people about God. When John saw him, he said, This is God's Son, who came to take away the sin of the world. When John baptized Jesus, he heard the voice of the Father saying, You are my Son whom I love. I am well pleased with you. Now we're going to talk about baptism using this bowl of water. First, though, I need you to listen to me. Really listen, okay? Remember, you should never, ever, ever mix water and electricity. It's very dangerous. I'm using a special trick for this video, so I'm safe. Do not do this at home, okay? Okay. Now I'm going to take this light bulb and put it in the bowl of water to remind us that Jesus was baptized. Now, he didn't need to be baptized to have his sin forgiven because Jesus never sinned. But he wanted to be a perfect example for us. He wanted us to be baptized too so that we would hear God's word just as it was spoken to Jesus. When we're baptized, God says to us, You are my special child whom I love. I'm very pleased with you. It's a way we're connected to him. Just like Jesus showed that he was connected to his father when he was baptized, 
When we are baptized, guess what happens? We are connected to Jesus as well. See the light shine? When we're baptized, God uses ordinary water just like this. Through baptism, we're connected with God. This light is like the light of Jesus and his promise to be with us and give us faith. See how Jesus shines in our life? Jesus says, because you're connected to me, you too will have a light that shines. When people are baptized, we often read this Bible verse from Matthew. It says, in the same way, let your light shine before others so that they may see your good works and give glory to your Father who's in heaven. So let's remember, we're connected to Jesus so we can shine bright. God makes a special promise to us in baptism. He promises to give us faith, to wash our sins away, and to help us shine. Are you letting your light shine? When you remember your baptism, you remember that you're connected to God through what Jesus has done for you. He is the light of the world, and he can shine through your life to help others. Also remember, don't ever try playing with water and electricity at home. It's very, very dangerous. Wow, Deaconess Kim, that was a neat trick. How did you make the light shine when it wasn't plugged in? Ah, that's my little secret. Come on, please. How about this? If you can answer three review questions, I'll tell you. Okay, I can do that. Okay, question number one. What was John the Baptizer's job? Oh, you're not going to make this easy. Um, he told people about God, and then he baptized them and told them to repeat, repair, re-something. He told them not to sin, to turn away from doing bad things. That word is repent. You're right, but his main job was to... Wait, let me think. Oh, oh, it was the flashlight, right? John's real job was to point to Jesus the real light. You got it. Okay, question number two. When Jesus was baptized, what did God the Father say? I know that one. He said, this is my son whom I love. I'm really happy with him. Well, that's close enough. Okay, question number three. In baptism, with whom are we connected? Whew, this one's easy. Baptism connects us with God. Then we can shine bright so people can always see in the dark. Uh, well, you're right that baptism connects us with God, but when we say that we shine bright, we don't mean actually shining like a light bulb, Judy. We don't? Well, how else do we shine? Well, it means do good things, be nice to people, and tell them about Jesus. That way we'll act like a bright, shining light in the darkness of the world, showing people God's love. Oh, that's kind of confusing. But I guess that means that when I share my snacks or help my mom or do nice things for people, I'm making their life nicer, brighter. I think you're getting the idea. So kids, think about that this week. What can you do to shine bright this week? If you have any good ideas, let us know. We'd love to hear how our Team Jesus kids are shining. Hey, what about that light bulb trick? How does it work? Oh, that's right. Now, normally a magician doesn't reveal their tricks, but I'm not really doing magic, so I can show you. I use this trick light bulb. It lights up when you hold it a special way, so you can make it light up even when it's not plugged in. Oh, I see. That's pretty amazing. But not as amazing as Jesus. You're absolutely right, Judy. Now, will you say a closing prayer for us? Sure. Dear God, thank you for sending Jesus, the light of the world, to us so that we can be connected to you. Thank you for the gift of baptism that shows us we are connected to you. Help us to be like John the Baptizer, to shine our lights to the world reflecting the light of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Amen. Thanks for tuning in, kids. Have a blessed week.